Well, this is an unusual sight. Some serious work going on in Sooty's bedroom. Sooty and Sue are finishing off their homework. Sweep, on the other hand, hasn't started his. Sweep's not very big on homework, but he is very big on being a nuisance. Just watch. even think about it. Think about what? Coming to look at my homework, that's what? Can you just have a little look? No, Sweep, that's cheating. Do your own work. There isn't time? Oh, well, that's your fault. You spend far too much time messing around with little cousin Stampy and not enough time doing your homework. Well, you've made your bed, Sweep. You must lie on it. Wait! Will you stop looking at my work? At school? Oh, I'm sorry, sweet, but you're still not copying off me, so stop looking at my book. Go on, shoo! <laughs> In a second or two, Sooty. Just got some business to attend to. <coughs> right. Well, I've finished my homework and my business. How about you, Sooty? Good. In that case, I'm going to get washed. Coming? So, Sweep hasn't done his homework, and he's going to get into trouble at school. I wonder if he'll come up with a scheme to get himself out of this mess. Or whether he'll get himself into a bigger mess. Let's see.
Well, it seems that Sweets got himself into a bigger mess. I wonder what he's up to. <laughs> he looks quite ill, doesn't he? Ah, so that's what he's up to. <gasps> Dear me, honestly, Woody, just look at some of this work in Sweets' book. <laughs> he looks like a spider has jumped into a bottle of ink, then walked over the page. He hasn't even started last night's work. <gasps> he is going to get into a lot of trouble at school. Actually, I don't know how he dare go in. <coughs> oh, uh, hello, Sweets. <coughs> Sophie and I were just looking at your homework book. And... <gasps> Sweets, look at you. You're so pale. Are you ill? <coughs> you don't feel too good? <coughs> well, you look awful. Oh, doesn't he, Sooty? <coughs> That's right, Sooty. It's <coughs> off to bed with you, Sweets. <coughs> what? <coughs> you can't go to bed? <coughs> Why not? <coughs> you must hand your homework in. <coughs> <coughs> you must step to school. <coughs> Nonsense, Sweets. Take his book, Sooty. <coughs> Forget about going to school, Sweets. No, <coughs> <coughs> oh, he says he must hand his homework in. <coughs> Don't be silly, Sweets. Take it from him, Sooty. You must go to bed, Sweets. You must go to school. Well, I think you're being over brave, but all right. If he insists, Sooty, there isn't much we can do about it. Okay, Sweets, keep your book. Take it to school and hand it in. Oh, oh my goodness, he's fainted. Oh, dear, the poor brave little dog. I knew he should have been in bed. You all right, Sweets? Where are you? It's all right, it's all right. You're in your bedroom with friends. Now, would you like a little sip of water? Water, Sweets. Do you want a drink of water? Yes. Sooty, get Sweets some water. Or oh, milk? Yes, of course. Sooty? Can you make that milk, not water? What, Sweets? You think you prefer orange juice? Oh, Sooty! He's changed his mind. He'd really like orange juice. With ice? Sooty! With ice. And a straw. A bendy one. Sweets? Um, are you feeling a little better? Well, you seem to have perked up a little. Oh, oh dear, oh dear, Sooty, give me a hand, quickly, quickly. Now, Sweet, listen to me, you must go to bed now. What about breakfast? You mustn't eat breakfast if you're not well. You must? Why? Otherwise, Matthew will worry. He says he's going to beat this thing. Oh, what a brave little dog. An example to us all. Well, here they are, the partners in crime. It seems that Sweets is very pleased with Scampy's work. And now it's time for a top-up. So how do I look? Asks Sweets. Awful, says Scampy. Great, says Sweets. <laughs> oh, Hannah, a bit of a treat for them today. Let me give them a big fry up before they go off to school. They love it, you know, especially Sweets. Can't get enough. Oh, they're coming now. Come on up, boys. Hi. Hello. Right, it's breakfast time. So we've got extra beans for you. And Sue, no beans for you, because I know you don't like them. Oh, yummy, thank you. Sweep? <laughs> What's the matter with you? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> You're fine. Well, you don't look fine, Sweet. You, you're all, you're all pale. Sooty, what's wrong with him? Your lips are sealed. I think you're right, they are, actually. Uh, li listen, Sweet, you do look most peculiar. I'm afraid you can't have that breakfast. Don't touch it, okay? <coughs> you want the breakfast? <coughs> Sweet, you can't possibly eat that huge breakfast. Ah, I know what you're doing. I know what he's doing. You're going to eat the breakfast just to prove to me that you're not ill. Am I right? <coughs> Because you think that if I think that you're ill, it will upset me. Am I right? <coughs> well, I hope not, sweet. He definitely does look very strange. Still, I suppose if he's got the appetite, he must be okay. All right. 
Get stuck in, you three. Enjoy your breakfast. Any more fried bread? Sweet, you've already had four pieces. Uh, uh, five, actually, Maggie. You had mine as well. You're kidding. What? What? And they had yours? I mean, six pieces of fried bread, sweet. Look at the size of that, Tommy. I've never seen anybody eat like you. At least it means he's not ill, doesn't it? Hey, look at the time. Come on, it's school time for you three. Come on, off you go. And don't forget your homework. Come on, quickly. Come on, sweet. Chop, chop. I've got a lot of clearing up to do. Come on. What? You don't feel very well. You feel all pale. Well, sweet, you, you are all pale, but you said you were all, all right. What's, what's wrong? You've got a fever. No, I don't think so, sweet. But if you had a fever, you would be shivering. You've got a fever. <laughs> Look, for goodness sake, sweet, when did this come on? I mean, I've kept asking you. You said you were all right. You didn't want to worry me. Sweet. Wait, hang on a minute. What about this huge breakfast? You couldn't eat that if you were feeling ill. It was a struggle. Well, it was a silly struggle, sweet, but now you are going to bed. And I mean right now. What about your homework? Sweet, forget about homework, okay? Come on, bed for you, my lad, now. Yes, well, we'll see about that in a minute, sweet. Look, I'm just going to pop downstairs and get these uh, couple of things that you want. Uh, in the meantime, look, there's a thermometer here. I want you to pop this in your mouth and take your temperature, and I'll check it when I get back. In the meantime, whilst I'm gone, if there's anything at all you want, press the bell and somebody will come to see to you, okay? Uh, how are you feeling? <laughs> Terrible. Well, get that temperature taken! Water bottle, bone, car. Hang on. Can somebody see what Sweet wants, please? He's ringing the bell. What else was it? Oh, grapes. You know, that poor little chap is not at all well. I should be very interested to see what his temperature is. Well, hang on. Sweet's homework book. I'll take this up for him. One you want sweep? It'll do. Oh, thank goodness for that. I've been up and down those stairs like I don't know what. Uh, what exactly is wrong with you, sweep? The fever. Oh, yes, yes. It's just that you're not as pale as you were. I was wondering if you were feeling any better. You're feeling worse? Oh, dear me. You need to talk to Stan, please. Well, I don't know where he is, do you, Sooty? Hmm. All right, sweet, all right, all right, all right. We'll find him. Come on, Sooty, let's find Stampy.
I don't care how ill you are, your homework book is a disgrace, Sweet. You haven't done any of last night's homework. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, well, well. It's hardly surprising you're so pale if you go around pushing your face into the talcum powder, is it? And what's this? Just keeping the temperature up until I return, eh? Yeah, well, it's interesting that you're so ill on the day when you haven't done your homework, isn't it, sweet? I want to see you and the others downstairs in five minutes. I want all of this stuff returned or put back. Five minutes. So when you realised that you were going to get into trouble for not doing your homework, that's when you decided to pretend to be ill so you wouldn't have to go into school. Is that right, sweet? Lara, please. I knew he was pretending all along. Yeah, well, I didn't, Sue. Although I should have realised. Fancy eating that great big breakfast. Mm. Anyway, sweet, you've been found out and you've said sorry, so let's forget the whole thing. As a matter of fact, all this messing about, it's hardly worth going to school now. We'll no sooner get there than it'd be time to come back. What? Does that mean you can have the day off? <coughs> yes, all right, have the day off. But you'll have to make the work up later, you know. Oh, hooray! You know, Matthew, I think you've taken it all rather well. I mean, sweet, pretending to be poorly and all that. Actually, so do I, Sue. Hmm. As a matter of fact, you know, you shouldn't really be listening to this, sweet, but I think it was quite a clever ruse, really. I mean, if he hadn't been discovered, he would have been lying there right this minute, just laying back, enjoying being waited on hand and foot. <laughs> Very clever. Matthew? <laughs> what, Sue? What? What's that on your hand? It's my watch, Sue. I, I got it in... No, 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 not that. Look, look at it. What? A little red spot. <laughs> there are two. Well, there are more than two, see. Oh, I can oh. see from here there are four at least. Yes, you Rub right. this sleeve up, Tootie. What? Oh, <gasps> Look, they're all up your arm. You're right. What about my chest? I don't know. What about my chest? <gasps> Covered. Uh, You'd better get straight into bed, Matthew. Uh, no, I can't do that. You think I should? <laughs> you too? <laughs> Well, no, I couldn't possibly do that. I mean, after everything I've been saying about sweet, you would think I was just trying to get a day in bed. Now, don't be silly, Matthew. You're covered in spots, and nobody can argue with spots. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the sick room. I'm sorry about the spots, but at least, as Sue says, it means that I am ill because you can't argue with spots. Except that you can. Because I drew all these spots on with this felt tip pen. It was Sweep who gave me the idea, and it works. Look at this. Look, here I am lying in bed. I've got a hot water bottle. I've got a good book. It's absolutely fantastic. Can't argue with spots. Yeah, you just draw them on. Watch. I'll draw a few more. Hang on. There are more spots here than I put on. Well, I wonder how that. Oh, it's plagiarism. It's terribly. I wonder. Ah! Spots! I didn't draw these spots on them. These are, these are real spots. Oh, no. Oh, not well. Oh, oh, Sue, there you are. Help me, help me. I'm feeling ill. Well, well I'm afraid you're going to have to help yourself, Matthew, what, because why? we've all caught it. What? Yes. It's not the... It's it not is, the... I'm afraid. It's the miserable measles. Oh, no. Send for a nurse, somebody. Oh, dear. Say goodbye. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.